Hello, hello there, everyone. It is me, Sana Rain, and today we're gonna play a game that I haven't played since 1.0 Sana Rain, or last year. Dave the Diver. Still haven't beaten this game. I thought I would be playing it offline, but I just want like a chill stream, you know? A chill stream of just fishing and enjoying sushi. Well, we could help some mermaids along the way too. I know there's some updates, so we got to we gotta uh, experience those updates as well. And I already forgot how to play this game. All right, built up trust, a serve Mori Kure. Let's take a look at our stuff, to be honest. Um, what's on our to do? Um, build up trust. Hmm, humans can't be trusted. I think I'll, I'll think about it if you first build up some trust with the villagers. Can't you make Mori curry? I've tried it at the Indian fishing village. Mori eels are found at night, by the way. We have a peculiar girl as a customer. I should first prepare white trevely kelp and soy sauce. Okay, I see, I see. Well, I guess we'll have to, uh... Do a night mission. We'll have to fish during the night if we want to get that stuff. But for now, we could, uh... How do I use my item? Oh, do I press square? No, that's just my I. That's just... Hmm? No! Increases dash speed. Octopus weapon. A sea paper bracelet. Hmm... Wow, we got a lot of stuff, to be honest. Melee weapon? No. Um... Damage and dash speed. Let's go use Sea People Bracelet. I think it would be better for us, yeah. Unless we increase our, uh... You know... Our oxygen level. Is there anyone I need to call? Udo? What happens if we call Udo? Not picking up. Okay. Well, worth the shot. Where's the mirror? Oh. This. To the sea people, I suppose. Ooh. You know, that reminds me of, like, that uh, Halo load-up. The um, oh, I guess I just interact with them, I suppose. Hello there. Well, 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 are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? Oh, you don't look as scary as I expected. I don't know if I should take that as a good thing. Oh, you know what? We can't really see me on while playing on this screen. How about we go to the other screen instead? Yeah, let's do that, because you can't really see the characters as well. Hi, Mio the Hedge. Welcome, welcome. We're just going to transition to the other gameplay screen. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba -bum. That's much better. Okay, and then let's go update the text as well. Dave the Diver, or we could just Dave the Diver, yeah? Oh, that is really squished, but I mean, eh, beggars can't be co choosers. Dave the Diver, Dave the Diver, yep, that's good enough. All right. Ha ha ha, you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is, my name is Mima, I run a restaurant in the village. Mmm, you serve sushi? I'm Dave, I'll be helping out at the village for a while. <laughs> oh, receiving help from a human. I never re considered it a possibility before. Let's see, it's not like I'm gonna ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, and I forgot. Awang and Narang ordered uh, lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that we were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in, fr in front of the door? They should be still be on duty on the gate. Please help me out, human. Okay. Delivery duty, no problemo. Go out to the village, yep. 
R2. Oh. Where is where would I go? Wow, this is quite a lot. There they are. Hey, I brought your lunch. Um, human, uh, what is it? Uh, I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. Hmm, these are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? Why would I? Well, alright, give it here. Good work, I suppose. Alright. Anything I should be aware about? No? You guys are just enjoying it? Okay, no problem. Gotta complete every mission that we can. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? <laughs> Humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. Hey. Bay and credit. Nice. Mission completion. And what's next? Gotta make sure everyone is happy dory. What's going on in here? A seed shop? Huh? Are you that... Humam? Human, not Humam. Har har, you look interesting. You don't even have fins. You remind me of someone. Uh, what is the shop you're running? I see I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved the village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? Go and offer flowers to King Long first. The, tri the, tribu uh, the tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. Okay. You're the boss. Where are the flowers? Oh, these. That was not a snort. I have hiccups. Now I just drank some water. Okay, let's pick this up. Where do I bring this to? Oh, I'm assuming this statue right here? Damn, look at King Long, he is ripped. Oh, so this is the statue King Long. The same person as in the painting from the record chamber. I guess I could put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. Good on ya. I done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Oh yeah, should I use this opportunity to remember controls? If I remember anything, but I don't. Ooh. Okay, let's keep going. I did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Yeah. Okay. I gotta win them over. I will say, this, this sea village is really pretty. Bum, bum, bum. 
Ooh, they even have ice. Pretty. So what, they're near an iceberg, perhaps? Oh, look at the kids. Ooh. This is a blacksmith. Interesting. Where duty calls, that's where we go. Game parlor, oh yeah. Oh, why, hello there. Huh. You're the human that's been wandering about our village, right? What fancy decorations, what is this place? We see people work hard every single day. This place is of pleasure for the hardworking villagers. Oh, I see. So I can't come in, right? It's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? Oh, right. You're helping out at the village, isn't that right? Yeah, I guess that's how far that's how it is for now. I even need help with something. This this establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. The recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters, and all the seahorses have run off. They should still be in the village. Will you go catch them for me? Catch runaway seahorses. Hmm, seahorses, they're too small to catch with a harpoon. I'll have to think of a way. This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. Can't hold races, and it's tough putting food on the table. Alright. Let's see... How, how did you get here? That's a good question. I have a net. Or maybe I should talk to the king. You're getting away my farming. Sorry, sorry. Um, let's go in here real quick. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Hmm, human. Okay, yes, that's what I am. I guess you don't really got anything for me. I was a seahorse, where would I be? Come on. What am I missing here? What's this? Oh! That's pretty cool. I didn't know it works like that. Neat. Let's go in here real quick. Maybe I could buy stuff. Tenz Tenjin's house? Hmm, you can't just grab sea horses with your hand. You need some kind of tool. Dear me, the tremors are getting worse. H human, hurry up and help the villagers to gain their trust. Ahem, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a help bit of help from you. But only I trust the villagers as well. They've heard a lot of bad things about humans and stay out of contact for a long time. Go and help the villagers first. Okay. There better be a store nearby. Hey now, don't go poking around the village in too much. You might trip on seaweed with those silly legs of yours. I'm just trying to find stuff. I think I need a store. Well, I can't go into the workshop. And I don't see anything in particular that will help me. Bum bum bum. Ooh, that's an interesting gate. The ice of the divine tree is melting little by little. They are more and more getting sick. King Longshrine? Oh, nobody's here. Guess I'll have to come back later. And away out we go. I see that's where we need to go. Um. Well, we need to get shrimp. Maybe. For now. Perhaps we should escape because we can't really do much without the shrimp 
Yeah, hmm, kit. We need some sort of tool. If we can find a tool, that would be awesome. Mmm, but where? I don't see a net lying around. Everything else basically essentially required using stuff. I'm just trying to find a tool. What about this? Can I do anything with this? No. Oh yeah, you you're you do not have useful information for me. Um let me talk to her real quick. Would you like a little live music? Nice. How is he able to create music underwater? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was awesome. Mmm. How can Hermit's Crabs be so fast? Talk, find the pearl. This is a game of sharks. Would you play with Junak? Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of? Numbers between 1 to 3 are selected and whoever touches it first will lose. No, we're, we're not betting. Sorry. We need to find... A net or a tool, but I really don't see anything. Like, I see stuff over there, but not necessarily tools that we can use. Is there something in here I could use? No. Hmm. Full list. There's four? Wow. Do I have anything? Can't use a harpoon tip, but I don't have... Wait, what? What just happened? Special customer. Tenzin said you could stay here night. Well, don't wander around too much. I'll try not to. Come on, there's got to be something I could use. There are no. Okay, that's a request board. Interesting. Maybe I should head out. Can't cry. Yeah, we need a tool, but... But where? And how? I don't see a random tool that I could just simply use. Why do you have that with that mouth? You can't even breathe underwater. Well, look at this sign. Does this mean I could ride a beluga here? Okay, I guess we should head out for now since we're not going to be able to find anything. Wait, what if I ask this guy? Come on. Okay, we're not going to... I guess we'll have to postpone this one. So let's go take the mirror back out. Because all I see are just... I only see just, uh, the shrimp. Or the seahorses, sorry. Huh. Um... 
Well, we could still... Hold on, let's go talk. You went to the Sea People Village, right? Yeah, it's such a... It's wild that such a place exists in the sea. It seems like something dangerous was going on. Hmm, it's probably related to all the recent earthquakes. Hmm, yeah, there's sure been a lot of earthquakes around here lately. If there's an earthquake as big as the one that when Bancho Sushi opened, business is done for. There are some favors for the sea people ask for, so I'll get some info from them as I help. Um... Let us call Duff real quick. Maybe Duff has a tool for me. What is it? I'm kind of busy now with research. I hear TV in the background, though. You're breaking up. See you. Goodbye, Trinity. Okay, touchy. Um, Eye Diver. Harpoon Gun. Well, we don't have enough money for any of this, so that's kind of useless for us. Mmm. Music. Obviously, this guy looks just like Ash Ketchum. Alright, we gotta. I. Well, obviously, we need to collect some fish. Ooh. That's pretty rare. Uh. Okay. I guess we'll just do some diving for a bit. We're gonna have to dive during the nighttime, anyways. A mega mouth shark. Interesting. Okay, so. Excess harpoon? No. Oh, it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Just trying to remember everything. Hmm. Is there anything I needed, though? Alright, oh, let's grab the gun. Poison harpoon? Interesting. Um... Yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. Never tried sea urchin before. I would love to try it. How's my uh, luggage doing? Well, I should catch some fish while we're here. Oh. Uh. Oh, um, ow, and that's fine. Red lionfish. Such a big guy. Easy now. Um, oh, that's fine. Huh? What's that strange coral? An octopus? Looks pretty neat. Mmm. A wise guy, huh? Ah, that octopus has sprayed me with ink. Just wait here, I'll catch you. Here I come. Chase an annoying octopus. Oh, I could do that. Uh oh. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I finally caught up. You stay right. Well, there's our secret passage. Uh-oh, it escaped through a door crack. Um, I don't think I could fit in there. Come to think of it, think of it, I could probably use the ga uh, gas cutter from Dove to cut my way in. Just you wait, you octopus. Ooh. 
cool. Um, three, two, one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I see. Gotta follow the trail. Not that bad, not that bad. Down. Dave, stop breathing so much. You're breathing so loudly, buddy. Good. Okay, well. Go to a new region, but of course. Blood belly comb jellyfish. Yep, you've got nowhere to run now. Give up. I guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. Oh, I see. Ah, it escaped again and so quick. But what's this, huh? Drop something. Rusty octopus bracelet, an odd bracelet found while chasing the octopus. Maybe identifying it will re reveal some kind of special ability? Seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Hmm. Cool. How's our inventory looking? Okay, so we still got lots of room. current region yep hmm still got an oxygen tank there so that should be fine um let's take care of this guy though cool great barracuda Bum 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 bum. Um. Ooh. Cuttlefish, huh? Interesting. Come on. Oh boy, ain't that a big one? Oh, we're already max? Wow, that was pretty fast. Okay. That's fine. Oh, was this something that we needed? Looks looks to be the case. Um Could get all this and then one more come on come on okay um first get some oxygen and then we need to figure out how to get out. I guess just go upwards. We should have enough. We're not really that far deep. It is just concerning though that we can't really do much. If we can is find an escape pod. We should be we should be fine. We just have a lot of fish. Oh, perfect. Just what I was looking for. 
Escape pod. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Mmm. To the fish tank? Don't I just wanna... Oh? A bracelet found in the corner while chasing down a nasty octopus. Press L3 to dash a short distance. Yeah, why not? Equip the octopus bracelet to dash a short distance with L3. No oxygen is used, but the gauge needs to fill again for the build to be re reused. Nice. Cool. Wrap your day and get things ready to Boncho Sushi. You can only work, uh, you can only dive once. We need, uh, what do we need? Took our to do. Um. Hmm. So, moray eels are found at night, by the way. Moray eels. Do I even have the moray eels? I don't think I have. Hmm. I'm assuming that's the Moria Eels. Let's go down and then search for it. Oh, it's probably this, though. Alright, let's dive. We need the Moria Eels. A request from the sea people. <clears throat> Ooh, it's dark and spooky. I think we could find it. Wow, such ferocious fish. And they're still chasing, what? Don't tell me it's this, no, that's just a shark. That's not what we need, we need the eel. So where can I find the moray eel? Oh, there it is. Oh! Wait, these don't look like... Help. Is that really what I needed? That's squid. Just more kelp. That can't be my enemies. Um, let's switch the gun. And... Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Well, that wasn't the best situation. I need to find some oxygen. What's this? Oh. Hmm. By concerning, I don't see any eel. Ow. Why is everything so aggressive? I'm actually gonna die. Well, not die, but... Well, that's lame. What? Not fair, not fair. Ah. <sighs>
I didn't even get to see the eel. Hmm. We need the eel. Only once per night? Okay, whatever. Let's go to sushi. So we have enough staff though. Um First let's do some research. Steamed wolf eel. <clears throat> I mean it looks good. Okay, cool. Um how's our staff looking? Select training. Um, irresistible charm. Charisma increases permanently. Yeah, why not? It's not like we're getting anywhere right now. Um, ingredients. How about our ingredients? Interior. Don't really want to change the interior. Uh, let's see. Wolf eel tail meat. Okay. What does it mean by enhance? Um. Green enhancements will disappear. Nah, I don't want to do that. Just serve what we can. That's all that matters. Mm. Swap. Just max. Max everything. That's so many. We'll do Sea Goldie. Alright. Hopefully I remember. I don't remember how to play this portion, but I'll try. Speed up. Oh god, I'm like running around too much. <clears throat> I guess, hey, we got five stars, so that's pretty good. I suppose. Didn't know what I was doing, however. Okay. Hmm, some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? Yeah. Oop. Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism community to promote the newly discovered Blue Hole. Our first event, the Jellyfish Party, will be held in three days. If you know any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Oh. 
Oh, a party. What a nice looking picture. <laughs> I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, it just it's just a party on a special day. We'll, we'll just need uh, to prepare for more customers. Mel said the party theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15th, so we have three days. Ha, make sure to prepare some jellyfish. Wh whatever kind it may be, let's hit the jackpot. Special customers arrive during events. Perhaps the dishes they like, uh, prepare the dishes they like in advance. You might hit the jackpot. Mmm. Shop. What do you got here? Can I sell stuff to you that you might like? Try selling it at the Cobra shop. Yep, you get it. <laughs> A large gold bar. Hmm. Shop. This is exclusive item you only find. These are only one-time uses, so... Hmm... Not really my cup of tea. Come on, I need to figure this out. Oh, there's more missions now. Interesting. Oh no, what is it, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Say, could you venture into the depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping? <laughs> Well, I need the tube coral, which looks like this. You'll probably find near the whale bones. Do help me out. Whale bones. I think I've seen it before. Okay. I'll get you, seahorse, eventually. Eventually. Oh? What do I do? Hmm, kids, what's going on? Well, we're playing ball outside the village when a Mega Mouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball! Mega Mouth, you mean the huge? Yes, can you go get it back for us, human? Um, it looked really scary. <laughs> uh, alright, I'll get it back for you. Wow, thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. Dude, what are you thinking? You you want sushi? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I've been craving sushi. Haven't got some good sushi as of lately, so much appreciated. <laughs> um, are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business. Cough. Um, you look very ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Ramo had asked me to bring this before. Lies, humans can't be trusted. Mm, well, looks like it's it, so I'll ask Boncho to make it. The greens were feather coral and lily coral, right? There's so much missions. Well, I have enough, though. All right, not again, darn it. Why are you so angry? Junok, that pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle. I lost my precious beluga whistle to him. Beluga whistle? Yes, the whistle led someone's beluga anywhere in the village. I know I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. That heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Um, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I'm broke. Um, I'm not good at cards. I'll play a couple games for fun.
Beluga Whistle? Haha, <laughs> the one that Foul Tongue Lady gave to me? She lost five times straight and went all in. She bet the whistle in the last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? <laughs> Not for free. Play cards with me and win. Now I'll give it back to the woman. What an annoying dude. Well, if you say so, if I win, you give the whistle back to her. Sure, sure, let's play the game. You need to bet some money. Alright, let's try our best. Flip cards and pair the matching ones. Whoever pairs the most uh, matching cards wins. Alright. Okay. That's an eel. Okay. Okay. That's a jellyfish. Okay. Easy. That's a crab. What was this? Okay, I know where the starfish is. Okay, let's just go for the easy ones. <clears throat> I don't know where that is. There we go. That's a seahorse. Um, I'm already forgotten where everything is. Second one, I know. I know where it is. Just don't take it. He is catching up, though. Jellyfish. Okay. So we just need to find the jellyfish. Oh, we win. Hurrah! Huzzah! Thanks for the money, chump. Ah, I can't believe it. I was being by a human. This hurts my pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this. It's a beluga whistle. Give it to that lady over there. Oh, I'm impressed, human. Ah, oh, this is the beluga whistle. Well done. Hmm, but, but, what? You need Bay to summon and ride the beluga. I went bankrupt playing games with that dude. Hey, you can have this whistle. What? But I don't even know how to use it. It's easy, you just blow this whistle anywhere in the village and call the beluga. Though you will need to pay some bay to ride the beluga. Well, I'm sure with your skills, you can easily make money from the casino, no doubt. Hmm, I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Cool. Hmm, of course it's not free. Okay. That's fine. What's our next mission? Oh, there's one over there. Okay. I could get over there. I didn't want to... I think I should increase my oxygen tank. If I want to explore longer in the depths, you know? Hmm... Look at that clam. Go over there. Okay. 
King Long's shrine. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Hello, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Ah, I heard from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. Hmm, in that case, there's something I'd like you to help with. Sure, what can I help you with? There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, that sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? In the days when we see people roam the seas freely... Sorry. Mm. In the days when sea people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the sea people record chamber. There should be a stone site in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. Hmm, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the sea people record chamber first. Alright, I'll try to bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. Go out to the village. Is there any other missions for me? I don't think there is. I think I can go to the village entrance now. Since I wish we did have a map at least. I think it would make like, I mean, yes, there's a map here, but when we're exploring the depths, because I don't think there is a map available. Let's see where we could explore. We're halfway with the credits, so we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Do I have a map? I really wish I had a map here. Why can't it give me a map? If we had a map, everything would be much more simpler to explore. Hmm. Come on. Okay. Wow, this is a tanky guy. Ow. There. That fang tooth was really tanky. Um. Isn't there a way for me to get out of here? Upwards, maybe? Looks like I have to go up. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. Well, let's try our best, shall we? Oh, crap. Um. Why is it not dead? That's quite concerning. Um, I need ammo. A flashlight? That's not gonna help me. I need some ammo. I mean, I could use my harpoon still. Oh god, that's not gonna do much. Grab this. Oh, ammo, perfect. Just what I needed. All right, I'm ready for you. Have at thee. Oh, 
Ooh. Feisty one. Hi, Funk. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There we go. Mm, let's catch you up. And we got the ball. You know, might as well grab some fish for my trouble. Nice. <laughs> Delicious sashimi. Okay, at least we could bring this ball back to the kids. Let's do that. Bum 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 ba ba bum. Done. Oh, I wish I was like super fast underwater, but I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. <sighs> Alright, let's bring back. Let's give the kids their ball. What other missions did I have to do? I need Boncho to make some porridge, I believe. But I really don't care for that, though. There you go, little kids. Got your ball. <laughs> wow, it's a ball. You really bought it back for us. Ooh, it was real scary. You get to stay in the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. Ooh, okay. We only need 25 more. Um, let's take a look at the missions, actually. What missions do we got for list? I have guests to serve, but I haven't been able to acquire, uh, tube corals. Tube corals. Depths 130 to 250. All right. 130 to 250, you say? That shouldn't be that hard to find. Maybe that will be the last one that we need. Alright. 130 to 250. We're already around the 250 depth, so that should be good. Okay, so we just need to be a little higher. A little higher. Let's get our gun ready. We need to restock on ammo. Speaking of ammo, there it is. Da 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 da. Cool. Alright, we just need to search for coral. Wherever it may be. Let's open this. Oh, cool. Oxygen capsule. That'll definitely come in handy. Now, where can I find that coral? Oh, is this it? This is a fragment. Don't really need fragments. I need... I need coral. Particular type of coral. Hopefully I'll be able to find some. Oh. Wow. Everything is terrifying. Oh. Let's go over here. Down here. Dash. Ow. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, let's use this. What's this? A brittle starfish. Okay. As long as these things don't... Go after me. Ow. Ow. Okay, they went after me. 
I need to go find the oxygen. That's quite unfortunate. And wow, that thing is chasing for me from the depths. Okay. Any oxygen lying around? Anywhere? Or maybe I should go back to the village, restock, refill, recollect. Yeah, I'll probably do that. The damage was too much. All right, back to the village real quick. Luckily, it's just right there. I want to finish as many missions as I can. Let's check at the let's check let's take a look at the missions. Cause let's see. Check the record chamber. I if I remember where it is. If I do those two missions, that should be enough to progress the story, I believe. Alright. Let's head up. We're searching for coral. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, right, this was the UV light one, right? That had to be a thing. Just let me be. Ooh, pretty fish. Maybe up here? What does this say? Oh. Let that thing explode. Alright, nice. Maybe it was around over here. Those exploding jellyfish are annoying. All I see is this big looking crab. I kind of want it though. One. Two, three. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna do any damage to it. And I wasted all my ammo. Lily Coral. Well, I guess that's not what we needed. Ooh, smooth dodge. We are getting the tube coral at least. So that's good. Oh. That's an opa? Looks like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture as a souvenir. Uh well nice. Not necessary. Alright, we got the tube corals. Uh oh. I need to get out of here. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go downwards. Head back to the right. There's like a sign pointing somewhere. I just don't know where. Perhaps I should just follow the signs. This was the entrance, was it? Wasn't it? Hmm, I don't know. It's 
grab the oxygen. What else did I need? You need a feather coral and lily coral to make coral porridge, but can a human make it? 150 to 200, okay. So I need to go back being in the higher range. So... Up here then, right? Alright, so we're in the... we're technically in the range now. Why can't I open this though? Do I need to do something? Because I thought those were the chambers. They were, weren't they? It's so weird. Oh well, whatever. Unless I could check here. If there's anything interesting. Oh, we got a long distance underwater scooter. Yeah, let's use that. We gotta look for the coral anyways. Ooh, such a fierce one. Okay, I guess I need to use this. Ow. That was my bad. Come on. Got a hundred oxygen. That should be enough. We just need the coral. If we could find it. Hmm. And what's this area? And we should be fine. Um. What if I grab my gun? No. Gun. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry. We're gonna refill on oxygen. Nice. Hmm. Not looking good. Um, what can I drop? These things are heavy. All this is heavy. The mega shoot shark meat. We should hold on to that. We'll drop one of the combs. Yeah. I just don't think we need it. Um, let's go upwards a bit. Whoa, is that a giant oarfish? If I take a picture with the blue painted next to it, that can make a nice picture. This guy in pictures. Oh, that's the coral. We need one more. If I'm one more coral, then we're good. That's if we're able to find it. That's a big eel. That's a really big eel. Oh, there it is. Perfect. All oh, right. I forgot that I needed coral porridge for the seed person at the workshop. All the ingredients have been gathered, so I'll ask Boncho to make it. Let's see. We could kill two birds with one stone if we just head back. Like, uh, to the surface. 
have Boncho make it, then the following day, we can do other stuff. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's do that. Where is my walkie-talkie area? There's always like a hidden spot somewhere. Oh, there it is. He get out for now. Should be fine. Good job, Dave. He did a swimmingly job. Mmm. Look at all that fish. Hmm. Um. Anything I want to upgrade? I think I want to upgrade the... Ooh, but... Well, we, we have enough for both, actually. Let's do that. Cool. I just always want to have enough for, for getting stuff. Alright, what else do we need to get? In our to-do list. Options? No. I guess we could take a look at it while we're diving down. We still need to get the eel. Oh, another cutscene. Oh my god, that thing is huge! Such a big whale. That's a whale, right? Wow, it's a humpback whale. It's so big that it makes the blue hole look smaller. All right, um. Does it want me to follow it? Giant blue hole. All right, let's look at the list. Well, these give me the information that I need, but it doesn't really help me. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. I guess we'll just go down. We gotta search for the... that entrance way anyways. Maybe it's over here. All I remember it's like around here somewhere. Probably lower down. What do I need the kelp for though? First off, I should probably kill this guy. Hi, hi, Drain. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ooh. Come on, come on. Ooh. Wow, this thing is. Ow, this thing is tanky. How is this thing still standing? 360 no scope. There we go. And long no surgery. Yeah. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't know why we need so much kelp. But it keeps asking for it, so why not? Alright. Let's grab some more oxygen. Verified shark hunter? Nah. 
You know, I never tried shark. I mean, granted, I don't think shark is a common sushi delicacy, but I do that doesn't mean I do not want to try it, you know? It sounds interesting. Like, I want to try... I don't think I've had jellyfish either, so that would also be an interesting experience, too. Hmm, I remember when I was young. Wait, why are there so many fish? I remember when I was young, I really did not like that much sushi. Like, I was not a fan of it for some reason. It just wasn't... Oh, hold on. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Wait, why are there so many fish? Excuse me? Excuse me? Ooh, that... That barracuda was... But yeah, I obviously when you're younger, you you don't really have a good sense of taste, you know. Like I remember when hmm, this appears to be a slab. I should take it to the shrine in Sea People Village. That's a good idea. Okay, we got everything. I think we should be able to progress the story now. Going, like you said, when I was younger, I didn't really have a good sense of taste of what I enjoy as food. Um, what did I eat? I enjoyed McDonald's, specifically fries and Coke. That was my only thing. But then when you think about it, that's just sugar and carbs. Yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. All right, I could get a few more stuff. Grab that, grab that. It's not like pizza when I was there. I, I will have to say, I don't think it's a bad thing that, uh, that social media influenced me so much in regards to, like, food. Because I wouldn't have known how tasty it was, you know? God, this shark. Come on. Ah. Huh? Oh. You're a feisty one, you know that, right? Like, out of all the foods, hmm, out of all the foods, I think, yeah, definitely sushi, definitely sushi. Now, I mean, granted, it, it was basically started off with just me enjoying french fries, because, hey, what's wrong with french fries? They're awesome. It's technically a vegetable. Hey, that's a pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Boncho Sushi. Um, yeah, let's go to... Let's do some sushi stuff. Like, yeah. I remember... I enjoy salmon. I enjoy white tuna. Just a lot of good stuff. Alright. First, let's talk to Boncho so he can cook the meal. Hmm, coral porridge. Something I made before. Yes, there's another seasick person. Here's the ingredients. Hmm, alright, hand it over to me. Ooh, look at this man. God, I love Boncho so much. Hmm, here. Hmm, corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Thank you, Boncho. Awesome. I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. God, this guy terrifies me. Hmm, are y'all exercising? All energy comes from the muscles. Yeah, I guess so. Make a mouth. I guess we could. Yeah, why not? Get that. You guys, get. The... Oh, that's what I should be getting. Some more jellyfish. You gotta make money somehow. It's the only way. It's the only means. Moral gray. White Trevally, Moray Eel. So these are the two that I need to b make. 50 to 130, and then 50. Interesting, interesting. Cuttlefish.
I'll just, I'll get them next time. All right, let's, hold on. Do I remember how to dash though? Okay, so that's how you dash. Okay, let's, I'll open Bancho Sushi. Please, not all at once. Bum, 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 bum. Gotta run, 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 run. Run away, baby. It's great to have staff help out. Look at all that money. Oh, I'll clean that up. You guys just keep doing your thing. Bum bum bum. Everyone is being satisfied. Um. Eh, good enough. Nice. Yeah, I know, right? So many customers are making me rich. Look at these stonks! Oh my god. Net profit? Five stars? We're, we're making good stuff. I do need to get fish. We at least completed the missions, however. So I think we are getting to the next... Uh... Ooh, it's raining! That's pretty cool. Alright, what I should do is... We'll do a mixture of... First, we'll go to see people. Got some missions to turn in anyways. Then, during that time, we can progress the story, but then I need to capture fish for the side missions. So let's do that. But yeah, stuff that I didn't like. I didn't like Liz before. I know, right? Lettuce? Like, out of all the things, why lettuce? It, it's vegetables. I was not that big. I was not a vegetable kid when I was younger. I think my first experience where I was just like, oh, this is actually not that bad was during Halloween when Taco Bell was doing their black tacos, those spooky black tacos that they were giving out for free. That was my first experience and my first taco. Oh my, yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, I can finally provide proper food to my customers. I like to hear about you humans too, so drop by the chat every now and then. Uh, hey. I think we almost got every. I think we're gonna get full approval soon. Bum bum bum. Ah, but yeah. Lettuce. I didn't like lettuce, but once I had that that blackjack taco, it changed my world, and I started to eat more Taco Bell. The fact that Taco Bell is starting to become more expensive, it kind of makes me sad. I mean, it's, it's still cheap, uh, but it's not as... everything is not what it used to be. Everything is more expensive and whatnot. Oh, this is... It's coral porridge. You should eat it and rest. Hmm, how could a human make our food? Hi, RDC. How you doing? Put it there and go. I have to check if it's poison. What an unreasonable sea person, whatever. Sea person at the workshop. Cool. Hey. Return to Tenzin. Okay. I still want to turn in some missions, though, so... There's nothing wrong with me doing that, at least. Where is the gate? The gate should be around here somewhere. 
Uh, but yeah, having a... I... I... Obviously, since I've grown up since then, my... my tastes have matured. There is stuff that I still don't like, however. I don't like pickles. I do not like cucumbers. You'll have to sneak it in somewhere where I won't notice the texture. It just... I don't know, it just doesn't taste right to me. But aren't pickles water fruit? Yeah, you know, it's it's not the same. It's not the same. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's go turn in the slab. The slab. And then we can finally progress through the story and get to the next mission. Is that a bird? No. Uh, I'm a diver. Dave the diver. My goodness, human, this is the one. We're basically, the best way I can describe this place is in Atlantis. Thanks to you, we'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Cool. Human or rather Dave, was it? I think if you participate, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. Um, a sea people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. Uh, what's going on? Oh, we get to attend a wedding. How cute. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from a human wedding. Haha, <laughs> is that so? You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to get them to be in matrimony with Fish 1 and Fish 2. And I believe that is the earthquake. Please run for your lives. No! Not the statue. Oh no, another earthquake! King Long's arm! Oh, you had a test? I hope you did well. I hope you studied. You did study, right? Don't be like me, where I would just pull all-nighters and it would just be really unfortunate. Oh dear, King Long, this is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. We don't have the tools in the village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Isn't it an omen of an impending disaster, perhaps? Hey now, calm down a bit. Maybe Cobra will have something. I'll try and see if there's anything we could use on the surface. Just wait for a bit. Oh Dave, please do bring back something. King Long, we need your protection. Wait, people study? I thought that was something people say. No, you have to study, Hydrain! I mean, alright, I'll be honest. When it comes to education, I consider myself... The, I guess the best way is a lazy genius. Not necessarily mean like, oh yes, he's smart. It's more of, I may not look like it, but I am intelligent. But I, but I'm also a procrastinator. So I'm not the I'm not the book smart where I'm like you're gonna see me reading a reading a book preparing for next week's test. No, I'll be doing that like two days prior. <clears throat> it seems the villager seems to trust you quite a bit. I'd like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully yet, but we could use all the help we could get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and it was covered in ice. Yes, we call it the Divine Tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, Hydrain, it's all good. Like I said, you guys don't always have to attend my streams if you guys are busy. I totally understand. You guys can always just watch it on your own free time. Yeah, what is up with Tendon? He's a mermaid, but he knows stuff about geothermal energy. What? The tree has the tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there is a giant glacier under this tree that is under our village. A glacier on the bottom, on the sea bottom. I never heard of such a thing. 
But as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the slice slowly. So you're talking about global warming, perhaps? As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. This is a smart king. We need to check on the glacier below the surface, because we've relied on only agriculture for so long. We don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down there, embarrassing as it is. That's why we... That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that now it's our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacial area below the village for us? Uh, that sounds very, very dangerous, but alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you, we'll be sure to recompensate you somehow. Now then, you'll need a key down to the glacial package, the key. Yes, I am vo I am doing a voice act. Now then, you'll need- <laughs> Did you think uh, it was the in-game? <laughs> Where is the key? Tenzin, when we sealed the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right! I said something is not right again. Human, please go get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Suwan will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? <laughs> Nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured in there for a hundred years. Anyways, we need you to find out what's going on in the glacier zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Suam will guide you on this path. The sea people villages trust. I guess the villagers don't know how terrible humans can be. Remember that I'm always watching you, human. Best be on your best behavior. I should definitely try to improve my voice a lot. Outside of voice acting and maybe singing. Alright. Let's get out of here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can finally progress the story. My objective... <laughs> it's... It's good? Oh, I appreciate it. Hey, damn it. What's up? What's up? Alright. Let us continue on with the story, shall we? Go to new region? Yep. I think I know where the abandoned cave is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that is right. You are correct, Dan. There are YouTube viewers as well. Alright, let us continue on with the game. Right now, we need to go upwards and go into that abandoned cave. I did see it. Hopefully, they are able to see your chat, Dan. Okay, is it down here, I believe? It could be over here. There's the clam. Oh, right. The lights. We need the lights. Oh, that's an oxygen tank. I think the UV light is over here. And there it is. As long as we have this light... Oh, you know what? I remember my kindergarten song. I don't know. It struck a nerve on me because it was so... Rem it just... I just remember it a lot. This little light of mine. Please explode. Thank you. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm sorry if I'm like keep burping and whatnot. I ate a lot earlier today and I don't think I'm gonna be eating much later, so... I guess one meal today. Yeah, just one meal. One and done. Oh wait, no, we need to explore below. What am I thinking? We need to go downwards. Not this area, down below. Uh, duh. Sano, what are you thinking, man? You have to go the other way. 
This is a big fish. I want to eat it. Hey! Oh, so let's see. What did I have today? I had, well, I made a ham and cheese sandwich, and my parents had brought me, my family brought me, what was that called? It was a lobster macaroni and cheese. It was delicious. I, well, it's not necessarily macaroni, but it was like a pasta style. The clamshell pasta? I guess that's what you consider it. But, oh my god, it was so good. You're hungry? Uh, don't worry, I, I feel that sometimes. Alright, how do I get below? How do I get below this area? Well, it's not through there. Mmm, this is concerning. Okay, so I guess we still need to get out of this area. If we could do that, then navigation shouldn't be that much of a problem. It's all good, Pickle. Like I said, I I know this game is it's a pretty chill game. It's not difficult. It's just a lot of more about navigation, you know. Speaking of which, gotta kill these jellyfish. Oh, wrong thing. Ow. And I'm out. I'm out. Give me the jellyfish. I'm out of here. On the first day in kindergarten, I'm... You hit a boy with a plastic chair? What? That's insane. Well, I mean... See, I feel like that's not fair. As a kid, you don't know what you're doing. So it's not right to get in trouble for it, you know? I don't know, that's just me thinking. Because who really remembers what they do? Well, I remember because I was... I was told about the, the quote-unquote bad stuff that I did. But I don't think it was that bad. I mean, it was kind of bad, but... Uh oh Oh, no, no, no! Okay, that was pretty bad. Okay. How do I get out of here? Um, but yeah. Oh, wow, I'm really stuck here. Is this even the way I'm supposed to go? Let's grab our ammo. Huh. Where do I need to go? From here. He broke his head open from getting hit with the head by... What I do remember... Okay, it wasn't necessarily kindergarten. But during middle school, me and my friend, we played jokes on each other. The most funniest thing was like, okay, I'm, I sat beside him. He like did something. He was walking back to his chair. As he sat down, I did the good old push this chair to the side so he fall on his butt. And I did it so sneakily and fast that the teacher didn't even notice that I did it. <laughs> so she just saw... <laughs> One of her students on the ground, she's like, what are you doing? Get up and sit down properly. <laughs> I was, I was just laughing my butt off. It was, it was funny. I mean, we're still friends. We, you know, the best friends are the ones that are, that you've known since kindergarten and middle school. Yeah, I was, I, I, I man, I was pretty sneaky. Oh my God, where are we supposed to go? Hold on. Let me check. I only have three missions. Okay, that's weird. I guess not much else. I mean, I could get more jellyfish. Might as well do that. Then I can continue the rest of the missions. 
Yeah, I'll definitely do that. So let's go grab some jellyfish first. This is necessary. And then I can think about getting the... The... What, what, what was it? What else? Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I guess I'll have to check in the boat to search for it. But we... Yeah, those... The friends that you made since you were young are the friends that you should always hold dearly. I mean, we're still friends. I mean, he became more of a norm. A normie? Not... Well... Like... He used to be a full-on weeb. But obviously, he he grew more aspirations elsewhere. So, I mean, he's, he became less of a weeb, but he still knew weeb stuff. It just became... he It just no longer was his main hobby. Am I a weeb? I mean... Look at me, I'm a... I'm a goddamn anime boy! I'm a goddamn anime boy. I'm not gonna say Kaioken or anything like that, but... I guess you could say I'm still a weeb. But, I mean, a chill weeb. Ah! Die, jellyfish! Oh crap, that's a lot of jelly. Um... Alright. Well, this is a lot of... I guess we could escape for now. As long as we don't get hurt. We're on a... Well, we used to be on a funny number. Yeah, I never knew jellyfish would be so aggressive. You know what was a weird episode of Spongebob that just like plagued my mind and I still want to try it to this day? Would have to be the jellyfish episode where Spongebob made a Krabby Patty and Jelly Patty? A Krabby Patty with jelly? Not gonna lie, that kind of sounds disgusting, but it's a fruit. Well. The way I think of the jelly, I just think of, like, grape jelly equivalent. That sounds yummy? How does it sound yummy? I mean, look, I know for a fact... Hmm, a stone adhesive for use underwater? Let's see. Oh, good, it was in the corner here. <laughs> this should do. I should go back to Sea People Village. I'll go back to Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long statue. Look at all that stuff. Hmm. So, yeah, like when I. S mm, hold on. Let me do a little bit of stretching. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So. What, wait, what was I talking about? I honestly forgot. Oh, yeah, the jellyfish. I mean, it, it stuck to my mind. Granted, I don't think it would taste that bad. We've had combinations of sweets and meat together, so I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Okay, first, I need to figure out the fish that I need to get. Because first off, we need the fish. Dave looked like he's that one guy in the McDonald's line that says a two year long order, making the people in the back way. I think in that uh, episode, they were all mind controlled. Uh, no, I don't think they were mind controlled. I think what happened was Mr. Krabs started exploring that it was actually a really good Krabby Patty. So he decided to make a monopoly and make a factory. Essentially capturing all the jellyfish and wringing them dry. Okay, so what do we need? We need a white Trevally, 50 to 130, and okay, so just the 50 range, we can find these. Okay, no problem. Uh, so the best way I can describe a pickle is SpongeBob works for fast food. Well, one of the only fast foods. Wait, there was a alien jellyfish? I didn't even know such a thing existed. I'll be honest, I was, I didn't really, sad story, I didn't have cable until, 
until like I was in maybe fifth grade at most. So I didn't really get to experience all the Krabby Patty stuff until then. Yeah, so yeah, I was just enjoying like Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> God darn. And then uh, my only forms of entertainment was, entertainment was The Simpsons at six o'clock and then literally just kids shows. Uh, hey, it, I mean, it did its work. I mean, it kept me busy, but God, you could just watch the amount of. Oh, no, I didn't watch Caillou, but it's like Cyber Chase. Hey, Cyber Chase slap, though. Huh? There are no cu customers today. The thing is, there was a seaweed collector named Sushi. We got to provide seaweed to our restaurant. However, Sushi hasn't been coming by lately, so we're out of ingredients and can't accept any customers. Oh, is there a way to con contact Sushi? I have the key to Sushi's house, but I can't just leave the restaurant. How did you get the key? Oh, Sushi has a very large pet turtle. I used to go feed it from time to time. Oh, <laughs> Dave, can you go for me instead? Uh, it must be tough not to be able to open your restaurant. No, they didn't have ads on PBS, but they didn't have new episodes. I'll try going there. Can you tell me where it is? The thing is, it's kind of hard to explain because the terrain keeps on changing. That turtle eats so many jellyfish. Maybe there are traces nearby. Hmm, strange. I'll try looking for it. You once had a five minute ad that was a pain. <gasps> So, like I said, I didn't have cable at that time, but my one of my best favorite entertain forms of entertainment would always had to been wrestling, specifically Friday Night SmackDown. Ah, and boy, were those ads insufferable! At least you had Nickelodeon. Well, all right, it's kind of a hard debate to to choose. Uh, either Nickelodeon or why is my controller no longer working? Like, all right, when it comes to choosing between the two, Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, they're of equal caliber. I don't know. It's kind of hard to. Well, in the past, OG stuff. Oh, you're back. My friend had something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. But yeah, I will say, ads during WWE were pretty bad. Just cause, like, oh yeah, like you said, uh, Pickle, the five minute ads, they were horrible during wrestling. And the time in which you want to know what, what, where the fight is currently at, that's the worst time for an ad to happen, in the middle of a fight. Like, why would you do that? It hurt me so much. Come on, Dave. This is not heart surgery. God, heart surgery would be insufferable. The cliffhangers were crazy. The most memorable cliffhanger that I remember, and it was literally the end of uh, the wrestling episode, was when Brock Lesnar did a German suplex of the uh, off the no, he did a German suplex on the big show on the top of the corner of the wrestling ring and the wrestling ring just collapsed and everyone was just like well I guess they're done wrestling because they can't do anything anymore wow it looks completely undamaged Ooh, looks like I managed to glue it on quite well thank you so much Dave we won't forget this why do we keep getting these tremors they seem to be coming out of shorter intervals oh King Long please protect our village Like, no joke. So intense. Um, I guess we could re return back to the surface. I need to collect fish anyways. Because we need the eel and then we need the other stuff. Alright, cool. Hey, it's the it's Ash. Ash Ketchum. Oh, the storm is getting rowdy. 
Tonight, the creature that gives the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't excite you as a Marinka collector? Not really. Oh, if you go to the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. If you ever finish this game, ever want to try a horror game later on? So yeah, like there are specific games that I do want to try that I think I will be willing to try, but I'm not that, I'll be honest, I'm not that big of a Five Nights at Freddy's, it, it, it gets, it's too repetitive. I don't like walking simulators, to be honest. I think they're kind of lame, even for a horror game. Like horror game standards, maybe, I played Resident Evil before, so that one has its charms, but like, Horror game, horror game, I'm considering uh, Poppy Playtime in the future. Not yet though, not yet, but in the future. You'll find a creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diamond skills were better, it's too bad. Then I wish you luck, ho <laughs> ho Yeah, Poppy Playtime. Yeah, I think that's what they base it off of. He does look like Ash. All right, we're gonna go grab our eel. We need to at least get some of this stuff down. Ooh, and I love nighttime, I love rain. It's always so pretty. Why is everything trying to hurt me? It's not what I agreed upon. Let's go find the eel. Oh my god. I don't want to go down in there. I mean, I kind of want to check it out though. You sense a dangerous creature. Yeah, let's go in. I want to see what happens. Ooh. Hmm, I went in the vortex and end up here. Maybe these, these there are things that got caught up in the storm and disappeared. Oh my god, I think that big truck just moved. That's a cool looking truck. Alright. I think we got everything. Let's see what happens. I think this is gonna be a boss. I'm just curious. How bad can it be? Man, I used to have an awesome truck. Don't know what ever happened to it. Oh my god, hello there, sweet chili! Man, just imagine cracking that claw open. Truck Hermit Crab! Okay. Bring it on. A moving truck? It's not a truck, it's a giant hermit crab! I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? Defeat the giant hermit crab. I will try. Um, this is interesting. Okay. If I go over here. It's backing up. It's backing up. That is... Oh, it turned around. Oh, crap. Okay. Ow. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, right here. Explosion! Take this, buddy. Ba-bam! Oh, I see. Um. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. You ready, crab? Oh. Oh, I. Ow. Um. 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 Okay, I need to grab the oxygen real quick. Where am I even supposed to drop it? 
That crab is insane. Um, all right. Ow. Well, that wasn't nice. Come on. Wait, what? Okay, that doesn't work. How am I supposed to... Where do I even take this? Come on. I need to figure out where I need to drop it. Keeps moving backwards. All right, what if I drop it onto the his backside? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I like the music. It reminds me of those old school nightclubs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ba bam. Oh, he dodged that. That's not fair. Okay, I can't grab that. Come on. There we go. You gotta stop moving! This crab moves too fast. Come on, come on, come on. Give me another oil rig. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, let's kind of turn around. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> How do you like me now? Alright, come on. Mecha Crab, come on! I could do this all day. Well, sort of. Take this. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, hello. Wait. Wait. All right. All right, cool. Luckily, I could dodge all of this. That's no problem. Gotcha. All right, turn around for me. Let me see that beautiful face. I know where to hit you. I know where it hurts. Don't think you're gonna dodge. Man, you move fast though. For a crab underwater, with literally a truck on top of it. Gotcha. Sonic X, Sona X Mox, <laughs> Mecha Crab. Oh. Hey, we got a piece. That thing was really nothing without the shell. I hope the boss card Sato was talking about has been activated. A piece of the Hermit Crab pincer came up. Oh man, that's gonna taste so good. Should I pick up a piece? Uh, yeah. Dine in and on some delicious crab. The vortex came back after defeating the hermit crab. Let's go back to the boat using that. 
We still need the... What was that? We still need the eel, though. Huh. I'm a mid. I'll admit. I don't really understand what makes imitation crab taste like imitation crab. Still tastes like crab to me. Like, I don't, I don't even want to know what it's made out of. All I know is that it tastes good. You know? Especially with butter, especially when it's freshly cooked. Oh my god, crab is just delicious. Alright, where is this eel? Oh, that's the eel. Sorry, I'm sorry, I just... I love seafood, and seafood is good. I think one of the one things that I feel as though is not that bad... Well, they say tuna is the chicken of the sea. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's shrimp. I think it's shrimp. Specifically due to shrimp nibblers. Okay, we got... Wait, what? Yeah, we got the moray eel, nice. And then, well, I guess we could leave now. Wait, what is up with those fish? Those fish are going ham. Ah! These are some... Some ferocious squirrel fish. The reason why is specifically due to shrimp nibblers. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Uh-oh. Um. Alright, hold on. Alright. We can get out of here now. Uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, shrimp specifically, I consider that to be the chicken of the sea. It's not as big, no, but it's in a variety of stuff. You got chicken pasta? You got shrimp pasta. You got chicken nuggets? We got shrimp nibblers slash fried shrimp. What? You found the super rare boss card? Astounding, you must be a natural born Marinka collector. The sea was unrelenting with all those terrifying sea creatures. That was a serious stuff. <laughs> That's no big deal compared to the awesome super rare boss card. Yeah, I really do want sushi. All right, let me drink some water. Drink some more water. Mm. That's no big deal compared to this super rare boss card, but I went through all that. Now, tap share card with friends like this. All right, there we go. Keep up the good work. Ho ho. Alright, we should probably do some... We better serve some sushi. And then I can get the next fish. And we can continue with the story. I at least want to finish one. Oh. Oh, let's see this food. Oh my god. God, I love the way... I, for some reason, I think the one thing that appeals to me in video games nowadays is the cooking animations. It just makes it so good. So it's just like, mmm, you know what I want and you're not letting me have it, how dare you, you know? It's not fair. It's just not fair. We gotta serve up for the crowd. Okay, I think... I think we could open up.
I want to be in that ecstasy when I eat food. Oh my god! He just pulled a ratatouille! Nice! <laughs> oh my god, did I mention that I love the movie Ratatouille? <laughs> That's a taste I remember! I'm glad you like it. The food brings back memories! One time a young man who lives with a sick mother in my village was bitten by Moria eel, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was told then and I went and I went out into the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into that Moria eel's gills. I brought them to the dead Moria eel, and the mother made me Moria curry and thanks. Thinking of that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. In any case, thanks for the food. That was fantastic cooking. Nice. Oh right, I said I'll tell you something nice, right? Oh. Nearly forgot amid all that nostalgia. <laughs> Come see my empty lot behind this building. Otto's gift? Dish. There you go, ma'am. Gotta manage my stamina. Here you go. Cool. Nice. I think we got five stars. Ooh. Nice. Nice, nice. Ooh, I should call another day. It's a long road becoming a great master. Uh, what's going on? Oh, it's the weeb. He's, he should clean up his room. I don't like messy rooms. I'll start with the slippers. Uh, the bed could be last, but I'll close the drawer. You know... <laughs> a body pillow. Nice. And he's got the sleeping mask too. This guy's a Chad. Oh, what's going on? Oh? You know, I, I think I have these types of dreams where I just feel like I'm floating and stuff just happens around me. What's going on right now? Is he having... Is his figures becoming a concert or something? What? Oh, he's got the glow sticks. This guy is a true fan. Nice. Oh, that was such a... Oh. A live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high icon appears on the cursor, press L2 and R2. Guardian of Bonbon. Bon. I'll give it a look. But first, we gotta figure this out. Use LR to move your hand up and down and hit the green notes. What? When an orange note appears, shake L and R left and left and right for a loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. Hold on. Okay. Oh, so that's high. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I got this. Let's do this. Oh my God. Hi. Hi! 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 <laughs> Man, this this concert is lit. There's even a music video? What? Hi. 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 Oh. Hi. 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 I can see 
why this... <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Nice. I want to go to one of these concerts. Did I put? Did I play enough? Did I? Why does my controller keep unplugging? It, it's in. It's having too much. It can't handle the swagger. Controller, are you good? Oh God. Um... What's going on? Nothing is working. Oh, we're done. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it just needed to press and hold. You remember in the anime that an idol had two kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Idol. It's literally called Oshi no Koi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an intense series. He's gonna smile, isn't he? No, oh god, he's just like, mmm. A new Momo game called Leah's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. I wonder how much money this guy makes. Here's the thing, weaves are not poor. They they make a lot of money. That stuff is not cheap. By the way, Tendon asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. I must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. Did you sleep well yesterday? I told you I'll tell you something good. Take the boat and come behind the servant. All right. Um. All right. We'll do this first. Still gonna take a while to honestly. I think we can beat this chapter soon. Otto's gift. What is this? A fish farm. What? Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> Looks like you're doing a lot of hard work catching fish every day. So i am got to make a fish farm and finish it in a single day yesterday. What? A single day? In any case, this is where you can grow fish and let them multiply. I'll explain it slowly, so listen closely. First, come over to the first section. Fish farms need to have a right environment for their fish. Each section has a fish from a different path. This is where you can grow fish that live at the depths of 0 to 50. Each section has a limited space, and once the destiny reaches 100, there's no more fish that can fit. <laughs> of course, you can pay a bit of money to expand them. <laughs> Each section is equipped with its own camera, so you can look inside. Now come along. Oh! Nice, isn't it? I had a few fish to start you off. Wow, it's like an aquarium. Just staring into the water is enough to make you all peaceful inside. I, I used to have an aquarium in my house. I think they were just too much to manage, that's why we no longer have them anymore. But that isn't the purpose of this fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to block them out so they can be eaten, pay attention. Be fish, fish in the fish farm can be sent to Bancho Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. Even if you fail to catch fish because you are so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. But how do we add fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Good question, you can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. Oh, and one more thing. If you have two or more of the same time, they could also multiply. Wow, I see. I placed two fish each, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. Try coming back tomorrow. When catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. These can be hatched in the fish farm. If hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. Neato. Let's go. Mm, let's go back to the boat. We still need to get uh, another fish, an actual fish, not an eel this time. After we get that one, f we'll catch some fish first, 
And then continue on with the story. All right. Where is the fish that I am searching for? Another story? It's the big whale again. Hey there, buddy. Is there something you want to tell me? No? Oh. I wonder what whale tastes like. Huh? I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. Well, see ya. What fish am I looking for? Specific fish. Ow. Why does everything want to kill me? Everything just simply wants to kill me nowadays. Alright, so it has to be... If you do that, the FBI will be there. Really? I didn't know. Let's see. Oh, God. No, no, no. We don't want to face that. No siree. Well, we got the eel, but we definitely need the other fish. So it should be around here somewhere. If we can find it, that is. Oh, no. That's just... Again... Just more kelp. My diet doctor kelp? Mom, where is that fish? Welcome back, Mio the Hedge. Oh, there it is. And there's a big shark. Wonderful. I know what fish I need to get. Alright, let's get this fish. These fishies are what I came here for. Oh, they'll die soon. Ooh. Give me you. Give me that. I'll re get my ammo. And come to Papa. Thank you. We'll restore our oxygen as well. Alright. I think we got what we needed here. Maybe I should fight that big thing, but I don't think I have the pa manpower to do it. Ah, decisions, decisions. Oh, such a feisty big shark. Right in the face. You know, if we could kill it, we can make a lot of good money. All right. Ow. Don't see any other way I can make money, though. It's in here. Oh, yeah, we could use that. Kelp, more oxygen. A lot of kelp. We don't need that much kelp, though. I do, however, need to capture some fish. Um, this any, any will do. You know what? Let's bring out the blammer. So, anyways, I started blasting. Wow, that fish is tanky, what? 
Why are all these fish tanky? Excuse me? Let's just grab some of this. Bone? A bone. A leg bone. Come on. Come on. You're gonna go down eventually. Oh, X, 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 Hey, Keikaku. Hope you're doing well. It's all good, Keikaku. If you're busy, you're busy. No worries. Ah, give me that fish! A dusky grouper. Like you said, I am used to be... Given that I'm still a new streamer, it's, it's honestly fine. Like I said, I don't worry about it too much. I just appreciate you guys supporting me, that's all. Whether you guys are here on stream or not. As long as you guys are supporting me, that's all that matters. I just hope I don't become way too boring for you guys, you know? As long as I'm not too boring for you guys, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining, right? Granted, I do want to do a lot of interesting stuff, but... Eh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm just... I'm just joking around. <laughs> like I said, it, it is... I will say... Given that I am a new streamer, it is... I would say... It, I'm used to it, you know? And I'm not saying anything against you guys, you guys are awesome. I always love new viewers, and I also always love returning viewers, it always makes my day. But don't worry, I'm fine, you know? Because, you know, you know me, I'm gonna keep trying my best, regardless. See the fish tank! Okay, cool. Aw. Call Ellie, okay. Huh, what's going on? A humpback whale appeared in the blue hole, I think it might have something to say. That's what I'm back will. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. What did I say? That's definitely its cries. Hmm. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring? Yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As as you're going about, if you hear a young ones cry, can you let me know? Hmm, I just can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Cool. Find the baby whale. We could do that. Alright, um, let's see, we should continue with the return to Tenzin. Okay, we're gonna continue with the story to see people. You know, that's fair. That's honestly fair. You haven't heard an anime ran in a while? I, I need that. You need that entertainment. Hmm. What what has happened latest in anime? I really don't know. You you got to throw those topics at me. Cause like I said, I'm not that I do not watch as much anime as I used to. I read Jujitsu, I read Dragon Ball. I mean, I'm I'm hyped for the new Dragon Ball Z game. Dragon Ball Tenkaichi that or no, Sparkling Zero, sorry. I, I think I want to stream that game. That's a fun game. Yeah, I mean, anime, what? Hmm. I think I kind of ranted. Oh, there was this one anime, old anime, that was pretty. I didn't like. It's called Chaos Head. Its plot was too confusing and it was a. It just. It didn't mesh well. These days, hey, solo leveling, now that's a good one. All right, solo leveling is, I would say it's, its story is not that hard to understand. The Mount Huang made the action really dope, okay? So even if it's, com even if it's converted badly in like anime form, I still love it regardless. Definitely give it a watch. Definitely give it a read though. I, it deserves it deserves to be read in its OG form. 
Oh, you have returned, human. The band cave is an old band sea people storage. The glacier passage key is that is in that place. Serum will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. So I'm the best warrior of the sea people will guide you to the place. Follow me. Yeah. Like I only I wouldn't even consider like a simple shonen. It's just it's just a good see when you think of shonen. You think of like, oh, generic plot and good action, but I think it's just, even if it wasn't, it, it stands alone by itself that I wouldn't even consider it a shonen. You know, the one thing that I don't like, how hype SEO is when it wasn't even the original. It wasn't the OG. Like, what was that one? Hack. Hack was the original series to do that isekai, isekai video game immersion. My man, nice job, RDC. Here, human, go bring me the glacier passage key. So dreary and dark, why is this place locked anyway? Hmm, I'm not sure. I heard some stories about some crazy sea people locked somewhere, though. I heard the insane ones text other sea people. Sword Art Online. Alright. Yeah, I will agree on that, Hydrain. Uh, the one thing I will say, only everything until maybe... Uh, everything... What's that one series? It had... It focused on Gun Gale, but it wasn't Gun Gale. It, was, it literally focused on different characters that were affected from SAO. So... That was the one thing about it. Uh, what was it called? No, 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 not Kirito. It was another character. It was a care. It was a. They were Gun Gale care. Uh, they were Gun Gale players specifically, and it featured. And the main character was a tall girl, but her in-game character was literally a short speedster, and it was actually a really good. Uh, it was a good side story. Everything up to that side story was good. Everything afterwards, I just can't... I don't know. It just doesn't feel like SAO. It's not SAO. It's it's too non-SAO. Like, the story itself... If it didn't have the SAO brand... No, the girl that was all pink. You're thinking of uh, Sinon. I'm talking about the other Gun Gale arc. Because that's from, when I say different, it's a side story. It doesn't focus on the main Kirito gang. It features other Gun Gale character players. Yes, the spinoff, Hydrain. That is correct. I enjoyed the spinoff so much. Because it actually focused on more. I'm going to be honest. I don't like Kirito. Kirito is... <laughs> he's no, 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 no. Uh, he's so boring. Every other character outside of Kirito is so much more interesting. It, it's the truth. I can't. I can't help it. He's just too basic. He's supposed to represent the faker of that series. No. Here's the thing. A lot of people can be f up to his up to his tier of playstyle, but they're like, he is the chosen one. He is the only one that is able to master. No, 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 no. It's a video game. Everyone can be as good as Kirito. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people, but that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Hmm, I am nervous. Are you coming with me? I'm the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? I'll stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's the hidden one on the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. I know it's made by the same people, but I do not care for Excel World either. I don't know. I just... It doesn't... I don't like it. I think SAO is better than Excel World, and I just don't care for Excel World at all. I know they're quote unquote either in the same universe because they're made by the same people, but I don't know. But going back to SEO, if they never focus on Kirito, it's such an interesting story. You and me both, Hydrain. It's just, I don't know, it feels weird. Like, 
I feel as though a main character can... There's nothing wrong with representation when it comes to a main character, but the main character still has to be a cool, an interesting character, you know? Alright, let's go explore. Are you ready to enter, human? Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. I think we're facing a boss. Ooh, spooky. Ow, it's cold. The key should be deeper inside. A room with a mirror, if I remember correctly. Find a glacial passage key. Alright. I'm doing alright, Shio. How about you? Hope you've been doing good, my man. A silver bowl. Fishy, fishy, fishy. What a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> Mr. Fishy, no! How have you been, Chio? Are you doing good on your tests? Holy cow, what is that? The agency people Suwam talked about? They're still alive? Some, it's fortunate that they still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. Dr. Fishy, no! This is such an interesting place. Ooh, another teacup. Don't mind if I do. Those zombified mermaids are crazy. Oh, a mural. I think I found it. Actually, I mastered the social studies and reading practice. Nice. So all of our... F I guess so. This must be the room Suan talked about. Well, let's be fair. It's already... January, February. It's already almost near the end of March. April's approaching. You got spring break and then summer break, but that's literally the end of the school session. This must be the room Suam talked about where the mural is. But where is the key? Where is the key? The picture seems to imply something. Okay, so the third one. Oh no, we gotta stack the, the blocks? I see. All right. So we place that there. <laughs> I am smart. I know how to move shapes around. Do you know where these stones have to go? That's right. In the middle. Where does the square one go? That's right. On the middle. How about the block, the plain one? That's right, on the right. Now where does the X block go? That's right, on top of the plane block on the right. Good job. Oh my god, let's be honest. If you've heard Bob the Builder before, and he said, can we build it, and he said, no you can't, that's when you started having self-conscious and just didn't like... You knew there was a, more emotions than being happy. Hey! Nice. I wonder, RDC, are you, learn, are you able to understand me even though I like say a bunch of randomness in my, when, I, when I use English, obviously. Dora? <laughs> yeah! Oh, the device. That must be the Glacier Passage Key. What a creepy place. I better pick up the Queen and quickly leave. Ooh. Awesome. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great, though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? Uh oh, what's happening right now? I have no idea. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Hey, my buddy is alive. Um, uh oh, another earthquake. I heard something crumbling. Uh oh. All right, we got we got to get out of here. Oh, hello there. You're so. I I don't know what to say. I mean, the look. 
the way you look. What about the Hydro and Sano? Are you all suffering from test two? Test for me? No, I'm done with my education days, unfortunately. I haven't had, I haven't taken a test in, oh God knows. But I will say when I did my agent exam to become an agent, I was so exhilarated when I passed. Like my hand was shaking when I needed to. So here's the thing. It's a test that require that doesn't tell you if you pass or not, because you basically hover over a line when you take the test. Every time you answer a question, you either go above or below the line. The test either stops when the when it identifies like, okay, you've been answering a lot of questions recently. You pass, then the test closes. If not, you still like jump up and down between that line. And then, however, either either the test says, okay, you're done. We know we 100% are sure you pass or fail or it keeps going until you do the maximum amount of questions. I went through the maximum amount of questions. And then after we had to wait two days till we could actually see the results. So those two days for my agent exam were so, it was so stressing. Now the exit is blocked and now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Uh, Gadon is the name of the ancient sea people who are mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Okay, first off, let's fill up. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. I will say, teach, uh, learning, well, when it comes to tests, it's, learning, uh, taking tests sucks, just because either a teacher will provide you with the answers, or the need to knows, or they're basically going to be like, sorry, you gotta learn on yourself, all, all by yourself, which is really difficult, I don't think I could pass here, what if I hide behind a stone chat statue over there, I would go unseen. Hi, but a stone statue to avoid being seen by Gadon. Use the stone statue when you're in danger. Da 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 Maybe I should do a study stream. Maybe to help people learn how to, uh... Ooh. Oh, hello. I see, I see. Um... Over here? Down here. They'll never see me come, man! Dun, dun. Dun 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 Um, let's see Are they gonna pass? They passed True Don't, uh, do last minute studying It's way too much Like you would When you do last minute studying You have a sense of self-doubt As to whether or not you are learning the material correctly Oh Ah, okay, I made it And they all advanced, like AP advance, or just advance, because advance is slightly more difficult than uh, regular. The other kids at school don't know, don't know how easy. I, surprisingly, AP is obviously the most difficult, just because it's college level. Come on, you can make it. Nice, good job, Dave. Huh. The best way I've learned is called what? What was it called? I literally forgot it. I know the term. It's just dumb ways to remember stuff. It's not phonetic. I said it before in the past, but I don't remember what it was called. Basically, you remember things by associating it with something completely random. 
So let's say I need to remember off the top of my head. Mm, oh, I mean, I talked about this during that Japanese stream, uh, like Mo in Mori. I remember it as like the VTuber Kalapi Mori. She is a green rapier. She uses a scythe. So Mo looks like an upside down scythe, which it is in Hiragana. It's that loop. It's with that double slash. It looks like a fish line hook, which probably would have been an easier way to remember it. But uh, that's how I remember stuff. I basically associate it with something that I can remember. Ah, I knew Suwam was not going the way for me. Anyway, I got the king. Now I must return to... Another earthquake. Oh yeah, taking questions a lot helps actually test your knowledge. Oh, boss? Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at this shad. Wait. You're robbing graves now as if destroying the environment was not enough. Huh? That is the sea people's... Be quiet. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue and the Wrath of I, John Wonson. Feel my eco friendly Sea Blue Armor RX 93 and its flower. Mnemonic, thank you, Toshigami. Thank you. You are correct, mnemonics. Mnemonics are the greatest way for me to learn. If you don't understand it, it's better just to memorize it through mnemonics. However, there will be cases in which Mnemonics won't be as effective just because it actually requires you to learn learn the process. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Shoshigami. Hmm. Yeah, advanced classes, I believe they're they increase the grade points by one. So because when it comes to GPA, regular classes, uh, A is four, B is three. Is it? Yeah. A is 4, B is 3, C is 2, but in advance, there were 5, I believe. Uh, let's see. Feel my eco-friendly Sea Blue Armor RX-93 and its power. All right, let's go. Oh, why did he do that? You're an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. John Watson. All right, let's go, let's dance. No amount of words can save that thick skull moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Oh, I know what to do. Hey, John Watson. Oh, the missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct at him. Is there anything I have to deflect missiles? Oh, a harpoon, perhaps. Oh, wait. Wait, I got this. Ah! Get me out! Come on, I need to open this. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's dance. But first, I need oxygen. But first... BAM! Alright, let's go. Batter up. Like I said, I wouldn't consider myself smart. I just consider myself... Uh, intuitive, but lazy. Because I tend to do last minute studying. <laughs> nice! Ah! <laughs> Even my armor can negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Dance, come on. Dance, water, dance! Speaking of which, wasn't there a studying anime where the kid was like a genius and he had to study, like, or helps, uh,. Help tutor like three of three girls or something like that and became a harem. I remember reading that. Oh, so you have you played uh, Kingdom Hearts, huh, Toshigami? <laughs> Don't worry. I, the funny thing is, I've only watched the entirety of Kingdom Hearts. I should definitely play it in the future, but you know, RPGs, they're like an investment. Alright, come on. 
All right, good dodge. No, 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 no! X. All right, come on. I, so here's the thing. I know there's gonna be another Kingdom Hearts, but man, it sure is taking a long time. Like how long did it take for, oh my God. How long did it take for three to even come out? Like 20 years, 12 years? Grr, my eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is, I can't forgive you for destroying nature. Oh my God, he's gonna die. I'll be watching. Nice swimming, though. That's some... Okay, he was able to make it to a submarine. But that is some deep depths. You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. I know for, for, for a fact that Kingdom Hearts lore is really complicated. And I did watch that one hour YouTube video trying to explain everything. But then again, they really... <sighs> They have to update that because one, the mobile game came out and two, Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. So there's just so much lore. He was wearing high tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. Definitely pick up the suit debris. Where is the suit debris? Oh, this thing. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the Glacier, glacier Passage Key to Tenzin. Yeah, that teaching anime, I mean, honestly, it had a lot of insight. The one thing I feel like I wish I used more of when I was a high school student was index cards. But nowadays, I just use Quizlet for index cards. By the way, Quizlet is a godsend. If you always have trouble studying, Always go to Quizlet. Oh, you actually brought me a Glacier Passage key. Someone told me that you cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time? Um, I almost got eaten by a nasty sea monster. Are you telling me you've seen Gadons? Are they still alive? Gadons? Hmm, this is the dark history of the sea, people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one do you want to hear? Anki? Ah! Yeah, I've heard of Anki as well. I hear there's a lot of Japanese for Anki. Let's give me the short one. The Gadons are the corrupt sea people of the ancient times. That's it? In short, yes. You want a longer vision? Okay. Good, I'm going to tell you the story of Gadons, okay? About 800 years ago, the Gadons were the big pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices for more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. I wonder, did I do my Duolingo today? I should definitely do that. I don't want to lose my streak. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. I could have sworn I did my Duolingo. And I could do it after the stream. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provide the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and it lasted so long. Cause I don't, uh, but I'm gonna have for algebra. I'm a, I think I'm a, I'm good, Toshigami. I have a, over 500 days on Duolingo. All right. So when it comes to uh, algebra. It, what matters for Algebra uh, Geo is just knowing the the formula. That's the best way I can describe it. Because Algebra is the one... Algebra, Math, whatever, Statistics, that's the only area in which you actually have to solve the problem. You don't have to memorize an answer. You find the answer through calculations. These fruits provide the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. What? Did this become Naruto? The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However... However... There are always those who are blinded by greed. Dash, one of the senior technicians, wants to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? 
Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength for exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dosh was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the dry tree. Why are people so corrupt? <laughs> just enjoy the good stuff that you have, you know? <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah, just give me that fruit. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called the Yahweh. Well, I don't understand Long, but it definitely sounds dangerous, but did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was a busy task at building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what, uh, uh, what was going on. Then one day... Then one day, what happened? The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird signs. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent and began to attack other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for, for us, the mutated ones hate lights, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went to the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the band cave. Damn, that guy must be really buff. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. So he pulled a white beard, nice. But it happened 800 years ago, and I didn't even know Gadons were still alive. That means maybe some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. And you're expecting me to go there? I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by a ranching lifestyle. Right now, you're the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. This is my gift to you. Here, this is the sea people's necklace. Hey, I'm one of you guys. Wear this and the two worms in the deep sea will retreat. You know, those strange uh, worms uh, that look like sticks. That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suam to guide you to the entrance of the Glacier Passage. Okay. Can I capture this? No, we need a tool still. Huh. <sighs> Bum 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 bum. Do you got any tools for me? What is this? No, I don't want to look at that. I just want to go in the shop. Maybe they could do something for me, like give me a cool knife. Hmm, uh, yes. I'm feeling a bit better after eating coral porridge. By chance, I was wondering if you could gather minerals for me. Minerals? What kind? It looks like this. I need quite a bit, so are you okay with that? Um, this is opal. So that's what people, that's what humans call it. It's a real that often used by sea people to make weapons. Hmm, okay, I've seen some in the deep sea. Okay, and you're still coughing. All right, um, I'm surprised we haven't finished this chapter yet, though. Where could Maru have gone? Hmm, something wrong? Oh, human, actually. Maru disappeared. I'm sure Maru went to the underwater lake, I'm sure. Underwater lake? That's a mystical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us not to go, as there's a frightening monster there. The thing is, Maru said there's a crack on it that we can fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid I'd get scolded, but I think Mara went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with the door in front of it so that no one can get in, but there should be a guide sign nearby. Oh, I know what, what they're talking about. I know what they're talking about. I could... I guess I could do that. Oh, I see. So, right now, uh... We're... We're basically helping the sea people because the glacier is melting or so something with the divine tree, but they basically want to understand why this, why too much, uh, why there's a fluctuation in heat near their area. So I need to go down below closer to the tree, but right now I just want to help out the kids.
I'm gonna help out the kids real quick and then I can head back out. Because I do want to complete some missions. Under the sea. I remember when I was little, we had VHS tapes. I think I only watched The Little Mermaid once and never watched it ever again. I don't know, I think I just realized, like, I'm a boy, I enjoy actual manly stuff. Don't give me Disney princesses. Yeah, that happened. So I don't think I've watched any Disney princess movie since then. I just wasn't interested in it. What can I say? Is this the... This is not the... What is that? A trigger bomb trap? Interesting. But we need light. There we go. Thank you. Alright, let's head up. We're gonna go check. But yeah, I haven't... I haven't watched anime in like forever. I wish there was like an ant. Well, I know Frenren. Frenren? Frenren? Is that how you say the name? Frenren ended recently, and that's such a good watch, such a good read as well. It's, it's a really good anime. It's not even. I would. It's not even isekai. It's just a really good series. So, uh, if you want to watch an anime, I definitely recommend Frenren. This must be the sign the underwater lake to see people children we're talking about. He said Maro hasn't returned yet. Maybe I'll follow the sign. Uh, Fern. Pretty fun, fun character. I also enjoy Stark. Is this the door to the underwater lake? You know what character I feel like I vibe with a lot? I forgot his name, but it's the guy with the glasses. You guys know who I'm talking about. Looks like we need a pickaxe. During the wizard... when Not wizards. When we see the rest of the mages. What did it say? What if I throw this? Doug? Is that the name of the... Is that the name of uh, the character? The one with the glasses, the blonde hair? Did that work? What's this? Oh, what if I use that to... Ah... Uh... I need something. I saw that you were offline in my browser. I'm offline? What? That's crazy. Oh, what if I use this and drop it on the crab? Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. Bombs away! Okay, that didn't work. How about... Hmm... But I'm definitely online right now. I should be still online. Is his name Doug? I have no idea if his name is Doug. Let's let me take a look at my missions real quick. Yeah, I thought I I think I vibe with him just because like one, he's just chilling from afar. Can't get through. I think a pickaxe might get me through, but we don't have a pickaxe. Where can I get a pickaxe? Don't have my phone with me, so I can't check. All right. Can I get it here? No, this is just a sensor bomb trap. Hmm. Oh? I even know this existed. What? But I am actually, I'm pretty hyped for the new, for what's happening right now in the manga. Just cause we're actually seeing, well, let's be honest. A lot of characters in that, in the world of Frenren are really kind of scary. In the sense like we don't really see much outside of the hero party, which is really cool. 
it's probably on your end, just because I'm still connected on mine, so... Oxygen capsule, I, I guess we could take that. That's an Opa? Looks like a sunfish is the first time I've seen one person. Uh, so many pictures, man. Ah! Light this way. Bum 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 bum. Okay, follow the jellyfish fragments. We'll get a pickaxe eventually. Ah, oh, I don't have a pickaxe though. Where can I find the pickaxe? That's a rubber chicken. We don't need that. And then you got that one chick, what's her name? Ubel. That everyone is lo loving so much. I mean, I think she's cool. I don't know, I, I, I enjoy Friendman more. What is this? Oh, that's the opal, right? Opal. How much do we need? We need five. That's only three. It's kind of a disappointment. And we can find more. Ow. Darn you. All right, come on. All right, let's go check on the kid. We need to save the little kid. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, I I know what the next arc is for uh, for Fenrin, and I'm really hyped whenever they release that next series. Hopefully, it'll be soon. But it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. Don't get me wrong, the the last arc was really dope. All right, let's try this. Tink, tink. There we go. We're gonna go save the kids. Great, all the rocks are gone now. Looks like the door crumbled because of the earthquake. Let's go and find Maro. All right, let's go. Mmm. Toasty Ghosty 666, thank you so much for the follow. Let me go grab this. Ooh, spicy. And go down. And go up. Swim across. Go below. Switch to gun. Hmm. Is there a boss? Whoa, this must be the underwater lake. To see a lake under the tree on this under the sea, it's really amazing. Maybe I should take a photo. Uh, so many photos, man, really. Fine. Hold. There, you got a photo. What? Avoid the fog. <clears throat> that's that's the entirety of the photo. There. What? Restart. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. There. What? What does it want? You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. We're, we're, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Okay, whatever. All right, let's see what we got. What was that sound? Under the sea, under the sea. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's yeah, fine. Let's restock. No, we don't need to restock. I think this is a boss fight. Oh, yeah. That thing looks horrific. Oh, human, you came to save me. I'm here to rescue you, but what is this monster? 
I was just here to take a look at the lake. That's when... That's an ugly looking shark. I can't wait to eat it. Oh god. Goblin shark. Reminds me of Goblin Slayer. Oh yeah, it does look like a goblin. Oh, this is a problem. Looks like I'll have to find a way. Oh no. All right. You're strong. But I have the power of a gun. Eat lead. Ow. He led. He, he led. Oh, I'm gonna die. Well, we can restart. No biggie. That's fine. That's actually my first ever game over. Surprisingly. All right, let's go. Because we're hungry, Chio. What can I say? All right, come on. I'll be honest. I'm curious. Do you think Goblin Slayer ever ate goblins or he just killed them? Well, I know for a fact he just killed them, but he always wanted to beat, uh, destroy all the goblins by any means necessary. So I just wonder. Okay. I need more ammo. Triple Axel Elmo. There we go. Oh, it's still. It's a gob. Ah! Need the oxygen. Soon, soon, soon. What guns do you got for me? Small net gun. Well, I guess we could give it a shot. Oh, that is. That's horrible. What? That does nothing! That does no damage. Alright, come on. Come on. Ow. This thing is really tanky, I'm gonna be honest. I like seafood. Specifically sushi, of course. I don't really care for like other types of fish uh, food. Shrimp pasta, yeah. Salmon, yeah. But that's just as far as I go when it comes to fish and I think I'm gonna die. There's no more oxygen source. I really don't see anything. There was another ammo box. And I lost. Okay. Gotta re Wow, this boss is something. Alright, let's try again. What's wrong with shrimp pasta? I think it's tasty. One. Okay, one more. All right. Um, interesting. And then, ow. That thing is so close. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, nothing wrong. Okay, good. And then, one. Two. I am dodging this like no tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. There we go. 
You're dead, right? Nice. All right, Boncho, I got food for you. Sharks are protective fishes too. Really? I see. Why? They... That's actually really interesting. Why out of... Why sharks though? Look, look at that. A lot of interesting stuff. Ooh, barely defeated it. Oh, thank you, human. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Well, I want to see Underwater Lake. Get a load of this kid. Anyway, let's go back to the village. Ooh, that was a really intense one. Intense one. Hmm. Sea people village. Oh, speaking of seafood, one of my favorite samurai. If you guys ever seen Samurai Jack, I know it's an old cartoon, but one of my favorite Samurai Jack episodes would have to be the underwater sea one, just cause Jack went to town in an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet when he was invited to eat with the fish people. Like, he went non-stop. I mean, granted, they betrayed him, but they went back to, they, they redeemed themselves in the end by giving Jack just a huge bag of sushi once he got onto mainland. Maro, I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? Was there really a lake in the water? Food with your friends at school? Uh, so, let's see. Is there a chance that this is an old cartoon? It is! Samurai Jack? It's really old, but it's a classic. Surprisingly, when it comes to high school, because my friends were always has different period, uh, different classes than me, there weren't that many opportunities for us to eat together. And plus, uh, I would be getting service learning hours during that time. I took a photo, do you want to see it? Wow, it's amazing. That's actually a pretty horrible photo. Wow, I knew you are disappointed, but be satisfied with the photo. They were dangerous monsters there. Okay, anyways, thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. All right, cool. Curious child. Um, where are we at? It's already, it's already pretty late. We're already like three men, three hours in. Um, I do, still haven't been in the chapter though, which is one of my priorities. So, I guess. Hmm. Details. Okay, let's go ahead back. Do you, uh, that one friend that is always, that always texts the. T takes the egg and ran away. Um, no. Well, I just want to eat food pretty fast, you know? Because, one, I need to finish my homework, and two, it's just like... But it's more so due to homework. No. What's going on? This is actually quite hectic. That was an intense earthquake. Woo! Whoa, a strong earthquake all of a sudden? The earthquakes are becoming more frequent and intense. I should go check if Bancho Sushi is alright. I have a cuisine and friend who takes my banana and apple. I would always give one of my friends, she tends to sleep a lot during my AP classes, my uh, McDonald's breakfast. It's pretty good breakfast. I should also check on the fish. I'll check on them in the following day. Do I even have fish? Bancho, I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? I took some measures against the earthquakes after it crumbled last time, but I'm not sure for how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Hey, it's Dr. Bacon. Dr. Bacon, I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were alright. That looks like everyone is okay. Dave, what about the sea people business? Is there any problem? Um, the heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the sea. Yeah. 
Alrighty, see if this is what you. Uh, this basically helps uh, give you clarification as to what we're trying to solve right now. The heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the Sea People's village, and many Sea People get sick because of that. To identify the cause, we need to go to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate. But there seems to be eerie monsters down there, and I don't feel safe. Ah, that sounds like trouble, Dave. According to ancient records, Sea People are very susceptible to temperature change. Hmm. You should go down the glacial area ASAP and find out what's happening there. It would be an honor roll to sacrifice yourself for the sea people, even if it means getting frozen. Uh, excuse me? Never mind, we can worry about that tomorrow. Today we feast and have a fun lucky time. Dr. Bacon, you are insane. Hey, it's the farmer. What's up, farmer? What? Sea people? It's hard to believe that something I've only heard in legend is real. If there's a good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. Yeah, all they do is just open their mouth and be like, oh, mm, refreshing. Who is this guy? VIP appeared. Michael Bang, the master. Master of what? Look, like, this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. Can you only stream on Twitch or you can upload videos? Hmm. So, well, here's the thing. You can't really upload videos on Twitch, but it can save uh, past streams. That's why I'm streaming on both platforms. But I do upload videos on YouTube from time to time, you know? Look. Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. This decre... How do you say this? Decrep... This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. Um, what a rude customer. What do you want? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director... Wait. Oh my god. He's supposed to be f based off the director. Uh, What was his name? Michael something. It's not Michael Bang. I forgot his name. Those things would disappear. On the movie, Michael Bang, Michael Beth? No. What? Who's the guy that made? Oh, Michael Bay. That's what it was. Oh my God. He's supposed to be based off Michael Bay. So we're just gonna see a bunch of explosions. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? That's literally Optimus Prime. Ha, huh, looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director, Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking about that about himself. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone. Around these parts, I can't seem to get the ending scene right. I think I might find new inspiration with food that will clear up my mind. It doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait, Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. See? He is Michael Bay! <laughs> if you can watch another great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Oh, so you're a fan? I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. And that's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days, I'll prepare the food that'll make your head all but explode with inspiration. Well, alright, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. We gotta help. We gotta help him. Inspire him. Bacho, do you have a plan? Hmm, cooking is an art form. I know well the pain of an auteur. I prepare food that will inspire him. Thank you so much, Yo. You have a good night, alright? Do you know why town is the largest gem marker and maker in Asia? Really? Oh, so then you must be really familiar when it comes to like topaz, uh, jades and all that. I really don't understand the gotcha system when it comes to buying a stone. And then cutting it open, I just don't understand. Because mostly, aren't those... I've never seen a rare rock come from those. I'll prepare food that will inspire him. However, mm. as he said, the rice I use in the, is the Nam race of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. <laughs> I've been listening to your conversation. If it's rice, I think I can come up with something. Mm, do you have an idea, Otto? <laughs> Oh, really? Nice. Give me just a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. 
Those are jades? Ah. Hmm, if we can get a high quality rice. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. You're talking about the ones where you actually have to go mine and find. Okay. If we can make uh, sushi with three kinds of fish, Titan Tigerfish, Hearthquain Hind, and Coral Trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates Flourish, please don't be late. Alright, I think we could do that. Mission updated, Michael Bang's inspiration. Um, first off, let's look at the menu. Do we have what we need? What else do we need? We needed one more white Trevally. Oh, man. Well, that's fine, I guess. Just serve what we can. Kind of sad about that. Gonna have to go check and grab some more fish. Don't really have that much. Research. Oh, we can make more stuff though. Oh, ooh. Man, Boncho's really cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got what we need. Alright, let's open up, shall we? A real chef, yeah. He sure knows how to make stuff. Gotta manage. There you go. Bum 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 bum. Manage the stamina so we don't trip and fall. Gotta go clean up. Bum 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 bum. Nice, perfect. Wow, that sure is a lot of them. There you go. I think the following day I definitely need to do something. Oh, is that all of them? And I think we got five stars. Good profit. Good profit today. Good money. Oh, only four and a half. That's kind of a shame. Mm, we could do better though. Oh. Haha, <laughs> the wind is always cool and nice at night. I'm sobering up now. Beep, beep, beep. Mm, the raid of the sea people detected something. Mm, it's not from the water, just how? What is going on? What is happening in this game? Oh, he has his own cave. I am receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally formed. Worth an investigation. Dr. Bacon, hope you're safe. Oh, we're playing as Dr. Bacon. Okay, cool. Go indoors. Ooh, murals. I see. What surprise! A mural in a place like this? Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw on the sea. Let me examine it closely. Hmm, a picture of sea people and humans. Is this something that actually happened? 
children of both humans and sea people, are they hanging out together? Hmm, the sea people are giving some shining fruit to the humans, perhaps. There's a device of some sort, and I think I have seen some of these letters on the mural. Alright. So, we gotta solve this. So, we got... We got person, whatever that is, and that. Person, eel looking, and tree. Where's person? There. Eel thing, and then tree. Give me the tree. There. Oh? Was that wrong? This. There we go. Baba. -ba. Oh, bravo, the door is open. It looks dark and creepy, but a true archaeologist will never miss this kind of opportunity. Let's see what's inside. Dr. Bacon, I hope you're all right. Ooh, oh my. War? It looks like war. This place. Look at all these bones and torture devices. I must first examine the mural in the back to find some clues. It looks like the human collapsed after eating the fruit. I don't think the fruit is edible. Because of that, they thought they were poisoned, so they went to war. Humans hunt the sea people. It looks like a lot of them were killed. So that's what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people, were it not for the small misunderstandings. Let's first bring the artifact for further research. Is that the fruits? Sea people rebreather. It seems sea people made it for humans. It's from ancient times, but it's sophisticated. Wow, this looks like a breathing apparatus. Maybe a sea people a device for, made for humans? Uh-oh. Hmm? What's this noise outside? Dr. Bacon, please be safe. Uh-oh. What? Who's that? Why is he here? Pirates, what are they doing? Raiding? Back to the boat! Dr. Bacon, please be safe! Yeah! Oh god. This is our turf! Give us whatever you have right now! They won't let us go easily if we stop now. Let's get away as far as we can. Aw, oh, yeah, this is awesome. Escape the pirates. Oh, this is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Oh, middle. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Middle. You got this, Dr. Bacon. Ow. It's okay. Everything is okay. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice, Dr. Bacon. You showed them. Oh my. Oh, uh, he can't swim, poor guy. Whew, I almost fainted. I must take these sea people breathing apparatus for further study. Oh, that would actually come in handy for us. Is that the end of the chapter? No, not yet. Tenza told me to talk to Swam at the village. I should check if there are there are any tasks for me that heads to Sea People Village. Rose and Passage. It's party day. Prepare the right ingredients to make a fortune. Hello there, Dave. Have a good night's sleep. Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. Ha, well, I stayed up all night working on something. What are you working on? I'll show you. Get on the boat and come over to the next fish farm. 
Surprised we haven't finished this chapter yet. Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant the sushi had the mon rice mixed in, doesn't it? Hi, Mio the Hedge. That's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Macho has got superb skills, but you won't meet the picky movie director stands with that kind of grain. Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. Wow, that's very nice. Thank you. The thing is, I'm not that much of a farmer. What should I do first? I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you with a gr uh, little with growing the rice. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is a no rice farming game, is it? You'll be able to see results in two or three days. Oh, but thing is, I've injured my legs. You'll have to pluck out the weeds. Stop prevent insects from harming the crops. Of course, if we have good rice, plugging the weeds is no problem. To think that's a rice paddy right behind the restaurant. That's really great. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm glad you like it. As for his state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way since you could use a mobile app to check on it. The rice is called Farm Now. I'll update you, you on the stats every morning through the app. That reminds me, I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Blah, 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 blah. Enough. Now cool your temper as it happens. I have some weeds over here. Go and pluck them. All right. You can now visit the farm. The farm is where you grow and are blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay. Good. Pluck the weeds out like that and I'll do the watering. Pretty sure that picky director will be satisfied with the rice of this quality. I will grow the rice for you on the farm if you don't visit to remove the weeds. Okay. Nice. Well, I guess there's not that much left for me to do. Let's check on the fish. We'll definitely need to check on the fish. Ooh. Come on, just wait a day, Dave. I'm sure new fish will be waiting to greet you tomorrow. Has it been a day yet? What? Um, okay, um... Boat? We need... We need all the good stuff. We need to explore. We need to get fish. Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiplied her- Oh, okay. So they're ready now, huh? I've marked the sections with new fish with heart so they're easy to recognize. Go and see for yourself. Ooh. Wow, the mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with hearts if they if fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm Ryan on my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It's a windy day. I went too far out on my ship and the storm flipped my ship over. I've been able to go back to see my son since. Well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come often to check. Thank you, Otto. I feel less pressure to catch fish. If you have two or more of the same kind of fish, they'll have a chance for a baby fish to be born. Let's check this one. Okay. Show details. Interesting. Alright. Well, I know where I need to go for the... For the jellyfish, but first I need to get some basic fish. Um, dive. We can find fish down below. I will say this is pretty long for a chapter. Let's do what we need to do. Gotta go down below and find that fish. Then we need to grab jellyfish. We do have a lot of money though. So we could probably upgrade some gear. But I should definitely get some more jellyfish. Oh, that thing's coming after me. Oh. I... Maybe it's a sound? Yes, yeah, the sound of baby a humpback whale. Please take a look around. There must be a baby whale nearby. Uh, 
Um, first off, I need to grab these. Oh, there's sounds coming from behind a pile of rocks. Hmm, those stones will need to be removed to enter. Hold on. I need to capture fish. Come on, come to Papa. Alright. I'll help you. Don't you worry, you sweet thing. Come on, I got you. Alright. That should be good enough. Oh, they've all been removed. Let's head inside. I hope... Let me guess. Alright. We'll end with you returning to the boat, so... Mmm... Too many events are happening, but that's fine. We still got time, so might as well. What do we got this time? I think we have a boss, obviously. Oh, look at that. Wow, there's a baby whale in here. Hmm, it seems frightened. Should I go and comfort it? Hey there, buddy. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Aww. It's still a bit scared. Should I pet a, a little? It's okay. It's okay, little buddy. It's okay. There we go. Yay! It's okay, little guy. 333 subs? Aw, oh, that's awesome! I think it's a little scared now. Let's keep on petting it. This is a great, this is great. Who's a good whale? Who's a good whale? You are, you are. You sure like pets, don't you? Awesome. It seems to have let a guard down. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? I need to be careful bringing it up, back up. And what is happening now? Oh, I see. Come on. Come on, little guy. I'll protect you. Of course. Ah, oh, there are vicious barracuda on the way. I have to get rid of them for the baby whale to follow. Um... How shall I do this? Okay, and then this one over here. There we go. All right, come on, baby. We got you. Man, we're getting close to 400. I mean, we're not even at 350 yet, but it's been quite a while. Not necessarily quite a while, but it's been fat. It's been we when did we get 300? Like a week ago. Two weeks ago? Ah, oh, this place is full of lionfish. Since the baby whale's timid, I'll have to get rid of them first. Mm, let's see here. Wow, these are a lot of fish, though. Oh. Come on. Well, on the bright side, that's a lot of lionfish. Ooh, hopefully it's not... Okay. Do I got oxygen nearby I could use? I should stop picking up uh, fish. Well, we're almost to this... We're almost near the top. The tippity top. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Whoa, there's a there's a white reef shark up here. Unless I defeat the shark, the baby whale's not going to follow me. Alright. 
Come on. We got this. Come on. I got you, shark. I got your number right there. Ooh, there are a lot of vicious fish today. We're almost at service. Let's go up a bit more. Let's get some oxygen. Let's reload. Mmm. Maybe I'll do play this game during the morning. This is such a nice, calm game, you know? And there's a lot of content to go through. Ooh, that was dangerous. Looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit here. Mom should come. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No! Ah, oh, sharks, what do I do? Ooh. Oh my god, Mama Will! Look at you go, girl. Isn't that your mom? Ah. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Uh, it, it made a heart, that's cute. You're welcome. You did good, Dave. You did good. Yeah, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. Wow, it's huge. It's mother's love for over off screen. I guess all animals are the same. I feel like I should text my mom later. Oh, man. While I would love to... Oh, wait. Chapter 5? We're already on Chapter 5? Hmm, I'm see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't easy getting it out. It got so easily frightened. Maybe it didn't like you, that's all. Anyways, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. <gasps> the whale! Hey there! Aw, oh, hey, little guy! Aw, oh, you're so cute! <laughs> you're so adorable, okay. Bye bye you have a good one? Oh, hi, Mom! Oh, that is so adorable. Oh my god, it did a rainbow! That's so nice! What gentle creatures. I know it's a game, but it's... It, it's sweet gestures like this that makes this game really great. Poseidon! Ooh. All right, we got some good fish. Ah. Oh. All right. Um. Let's just do some quick. Guess we could upgrade our gear some more. Ah. Uh. Well, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Those, that's, well, okay, yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Okay, you got me there. You got me get there. Bad, well, no. Specific sea life, okay? I didn't want to eat those, but yeah, you're right. You got me there. You convinced me. You convinced me. Um, should I increase my, let's, ooh, I could get a harpoon gun. An increase in the harpoon gun would be nice. Yeah, why not? Anakin, a shark harpoon gun? Excuse me, that sounds cool. All right, cool. Um, let's take a. Well, we gotta go on cook stuff. We gotta start liking stuff. If we don't like stuff. We're not gonna. We gotta support our our fans. Hmm, I see, I see. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's let's play a little bit of the mini game. Get as many gems as possible without getting caught by the fans. Jump and jump twice. Okay. Oh.
Oh, this is not that hard. Alright, let's try again. I want to get at least a hundred. If I could get at least a hundred, then I'll be satisfied. Ah, Alright, it's fine. Is this the 2D simulator or something? Uh, no, I... Not just mini games, just mini games. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got a lot of cool stuff, not gonna lie. We still need to get one more fish, though. So that's gonna be take a while. Ooh, a rifle. 15 damage, but... Mm, I like the triple axle, though. A gun that fires three bullets at once. Its shots are powerful, but cannot pierce. Hmm... I think... Well, we gotta do Michael Bang stuff. So we need the Titan Tiger Fish, Coral Trout, and Rice. What story are we even on? Because I know they do the... They provide the... What you call it? The story mission, but I have no idea right now where we're on. I know it said Chapter 5, so... I guess we are pretty close, because I think there's only like seven chapters overall for this game, I believe. So I think I'll take a break here. Yeah, I'll I think I'm good for today. I'll play more of this again. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do this as a Saturday morning stream just because it's a really chill stream. But I do. It's, it's fun to play, play it once again, you know. It's a really fun and calming game. It's really fun. I like it. All right. Let me just try I save. Make sure I save. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So, oh, wow. So. Huh. Yeah, we're already on chapter five, so we did progress a bit. We definitely did progress. We got through another chapter, so that's good. So, just make sure, manual, overwrite your previous save, yeah. Chapter 5, Frozen Passage. Awesome! So we, so we did make progress at least. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, I like that, I like that. Yeah, yeah, so that is gonna be it for this week. I will try to get a schedule out on tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, or Monday, but yeah. Uh... I'm gonna go play, I will be playing Stardew Valley. There was an update, I do wanna try it out. It's cool to say, yeah, honestly, this is honestly, I love this game, this game is really fun and it's gonna suck when I once I beat it, but it's such a fun and charming game that I definitely do wanna beat it on stream. So, I don't know if I'll stream it next week, but I do wanna play a bunch of other games, so I hope you guys are excited for that, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna call it here, I got stuff I need to take care of, and then I'm probably gonna go hit the bed, alright? Thank you guys once again for stopping by, I'm glad that we got some new subscribers too, it's really nice to see new people. As well as returning viewers, I hope you guys enjoy my stuff. Yeah, no problem REC, focus on your studying, okay? You guys could always watch me through replays or VODs, so don't feel shame if you guys can't make it to live, okay? I'll be, I'll be fine, I can keep persevering. Just want to make sure you guys are okay, all right? Thank you guys once again. Whoever came by to watch the stream, thank you so much for watching. Whoever's watching this as a replay or a VOD, I appreciate you guys as well. As long as you guys are enjoying yourself, that's all that matters to me. My name is Sana Rain, and I hope I made your day a little better. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, and away we go.